See, I told you that story just didn't sound right. You get hit with a brick, nobody see it. And y'all gave her $42,000. Now listen to this. Check it out. So when you put two and two together and really look at everything with common sense, you will really start to see that something, something just ain't right. Word to keep sweat. If y'all was on our live last night, y'all would have saw the investigation we did, the uh, surveillance we did, the phone calls we made, the people we talked to, only to discover this was all a hoax. After contacting the police, the internet contacted the police, the police has no report of the incident. After the venue owner, right there where it happened, checked all of his surveillance cameras, he alleges nothing like this ever happened, that she just came out of nowhere with all these accusations. The guys that were standing around in this video says they never saw the incident. They just heard her screaming and yelling and yapping and they called the police. She was out there acting crazy and, and ridiculous and they just said they left when the police got there. But they never saw anybody hit her with the brick. So long story short, this woman does a lot for views, likes, and GoFundMes. Go look at her GoFundMe history. Go look at her viral history. She does whatever she can to get viral. And the internet is believing that she did sustain real injuries somehow, but she used that to make money and to gain fame through uh, viral videos. And she knew it would work if she blamed black men. And look what happened. Black women lost their mind. They all, they just start bashing black men all across the world because we're trying to hold her accountable like we did Carly Russell. The facts is, this was a hoax for viral views and the $32,000 that she's already raised on her GoFundMe, which she's done before. You know who contacted me? The nurse. The nurse from the alleged hospital was not a hospital, it was a clinic. And this is what she had to say. Yes, she came in to get the saline extracted from the side of her face, which means she never got hit with a brick. She injected saline into her face to create the lump. That's why she wore the ski mask so y'all wouldn't see the lump that she created. And don't forget, she's in the medical field, so she has access to saline. Anyway, let's finish reading. She claimed it was a botched beauty treatment. That's definitely our med check, not the hospital. She must have filmed that little clip while waiting on the nurse after asking her to put on the gown. And y'all fell for this. Y'all fell for this. This is the nurse from the clinic. But I couldn't tell. She gave me other receipts, but I can't show you the re those receipts. She wanted to prove to me that this was fake. And she she begged me not to show you all those receipts because it could get her fired. So we are not going to give you those receipts. But I'm here to tell you, that woman's lying for money. Go to her Instagram. You'll see the other video when she did the same in 2020. You ladies going to learn. Jump to conclusions giving all that money away that you got y'all ass.